How's it going guys? New trailer setup. Probably, I don't know, number 362 if you guys are following me. Uh, <clears throat> I've been using the dump trailer to mow with and realizing that I wasn't really collecting much grass with the accounts that I have. Uh, a lot of my accounts I can leave grass on site uh, and if I time it right I can dump the full walker from my last lawn, you know, also there. Uh, it turned out that it was actually more of a hassle uh, carrying around the dump trailer with the higher. Um, if I caught a lot more grass, collected a lot more grass and had to deal with it, it definitely would have been a better way to go. Um, but I now, I did the same setup uh, about uh, two years ago. I think I have a video of it on my channel, very similar to this. Um, only I used a 12 foot trailer, uh, which is a great starting trailer, great size. This is only a 10 foot, uh, which I, I don't even carry a small mower anymore. I could still fit a small mower on here if I wanted, or even a 36, uh, but I don't, I don't need it for my accounts. This is all I need, and this is all I use. Uh, so I got the trailer that was big enough with a little bit of room. If I got to pick some other little piece of equipment up or whatever, uh, this is big enough to put, when I put the aerator, the perforator attachment on, uh, and I was able to utilize all of my racks finally and get them all in an area that makes sense. I've got everything mounted on, bolted in, and uh, I think this for a uh, solo or a semi-solo operator, you know, two guys, uh, one guy can trim and blow, the other guy mows, whatever, maybe a small 21 inch push mower on here. This is a great starting setup. Um, you know, of course you don't have to have a walker mower when you start, but hey, I bought, I bought this walker mower for $650 11 years ago and I'm still using it, so just goes to show if you put a little time, effort, and of course some money into things, you can make them nice. Uh, I did, uh, I have a couple of videos on, I just uh, did like a whole restoration on this walker uh, over this last winter, if you wanna check that out. But it's been running awesome. I did have an ignition coil go out inside the motor, uh, which had nothing to do with the restoration. It just, uh, it just happened like two or three weeks ago. Uh, so I did have to uh, pull the shroud off and replace that, so. So, uh, yeah, so I got, uh, We'll start on the corner here. I just have your, you know, your typical street cone. So if you park somewhere where you have to worry about uh, traffic or whatnot, throw that out, uh, take a walk around. Just got a simple regular gate. I believe this is a five foot gate, four foot gate. Well, let's see, it's about five, seven off the ground, a foot, yeah, so a four and a half foot gate. Uh, this is a down to earth trailer, which is the same company that I get all my trailers from. Uh, it does have the, uh, you know, crush proof lighting. Uh, it's got the LED lights. These I've found uh, end up broken no matter what I do. These stick out and they are going to break even though they're rubber mounted. These same lights I've had on a couple of other trailers and that's the first thing to break. But these uh, stay in there really good and this is pretty solid. So I just noticed that we're missing a end cap here. They one here but not on not on here a little plastic cap got to get that so <clears throat> as we walk around i got the three-piece uh green touch green touch rules equipment depend defender sucks danny lanier if you're watching this uh we've got uh two stick pieces of equipment i've got the uh like the combo unit uh that i use as a backup trimmer and of course i have a bunch of other attachments for it uh, for other jobs and then i'm currently using i just picked this up on a whim it's just the cheapy uh low line still uh, i think it's the lower contractor one that they had fs 70r um, i just do very little trimming on my accounts i don't have much to trim um, the walker is also great for reducing the amount you have to trim this thing's fine i don't you know everybody's talking about super powerful i could see with the uh, combo unit and you're running different attachments you might might want more power but i have no problem trimming anything that i've come across high weeds whatever with this small trimmer uh, you know, I'm not a super big fan of still. I usually get the uh, Husky, but I've, tr I've had them all recently. I've had Husky, Echo, still. I shouldn't say all, but I've had a lot of them. Um, and this still is working out fine so far. Uh, you know, this Echo uh, so far is... Oh, this is the cheap one I picked up at the beginning of the season too. Yeah, so both of these are like low-line pieces of equipment. I think they're like 300 bucks a piece. Uh, so not a lot of money here. So then we got the uh, string trimmer... Uh, rack or holder with the uh you know the built-in cutter i believe shane at dlt lawn care uh, gave me that i think i won that he did a giveaway which is great 
uh spare tire always like to have a spare tire if i have a single axle trailer if i have a dual axle trailer i'm not so worried about it i'm never driving far so no big deal if i do get a flat but uh that did come with a trailer or i bargained it into the deal then we've got the green touch uh tool holder now you can see the side profile i've got nothing sticking out beyond this tire everything's in there protected which is nice uh you know we could put what five one two three four six different hand tools uh, that's the brand there, the trailerax.com, which I believe is just the green touch, like all the other things are, all green touch here. So have those on hand if you need to do a quick raking up, you spill a little grass or whatever. Um, I am going to add a tongue trail uh, t uh, box, you know, the type that has an angle built into it that goes right here. And I'll have a spare mix, blades, tools to change blades, deck scraper. Uh, spare trimmer, uh, trimmer string, some extra straps for tying things down, jumper cables, that type of stuff in there that will be lockable and I can keep it on here. Um, all of these, of course, the hand tool rack isn't lockable. If you want to steal a shovel, have at it. But uh, the trimmer racks over there are lockable. Then we come around to the uh, backpack blower rack. This is lockable and the two gas can racks are also lockable. So this has the lock built in. I've mentioned before about this upper bar. A lot of people have mentioned they're having the same issue. When it gets in the sun, it turns to this sticky, gooey mess. No idea what that is, why it does that, but I guess they all do it. Something about this rubber coating that they put on this upper bar. Uh, the bottom is fine, no issues with that, but this is mounted on here. Very, very, very sturdy, along with everything, the gas, ca the gas can racks. I've got them centered on the bar so they're balanced nice. They don't stick out. They do take up a little bit of room inside the trailer. A couple of inches as you can see, but um, I'm able to tuck them in inside the wheel well. Again, side profile as you're going down the road, you hit a branch and stuff, you wanna minimize things breaking and you wanna have a place for everything. So two stroke gas, you know, mix. Then you've got your straight gas in the big can, which is back up for the walker when you're out mowing. Uh, the walker goes about five or six hours of mowing per tank. So if I have a long day of mowing, one tank doesn't do it. So I need to carry backup. And that's it. That's uh, everything I need in one area on one trailer to mow my lawns. Uh, I take care of I think I'm about 42, 43 accounts, uh, you know, two and a half days a week or whatever that I mow to get them done. And, uh, you know, that's just the bread and butter in the company right there. And then I do, uh, you know, all the rest of the jobs uh, on the other days. Uh, so I'm down to the point now where a lot of the mulch jobs, the installation jobs, uh, I just had a sod job that I finished up that's on the channel. Uh, a lot of that stuff's done. It's time to uh, take a couple of weeks and really start getting organized and regroup because of the craziness. Um, it's after the 4th of July, all the uh, pressure's off now, so starting to rethink and reevaluate things. And uh, this is what I'm going with for the rest of the year for mowing. Uh, so just be pulling it with the uh, Chevy over there. Nice and easy to get around, nice and light. And uh, everything I need, I'm just gonna back it in the shop when I'm not using it. Doesn't take up a ton of space. I think it's the first time I've had only a 10 foot trailer. I usually always get the 12. And this is big enough. I've got a foot or two behind the walker and a foot or two in front of the walker. Uh, so if I needed to back it up and really maximize, I could even flip the deck up if I needed. If I wanted to fit, I could fit a whole nother walk behind on here if I wanted like a 48 or whatever. And uh, also, like I said, the air, if I hadn't set it, the aeration attachment, the perforator, I can put on here. Oh, that was another reason that I was uh, changing over from the dump trailer. Um, in another couple of weeks when it starts to cool down, I'll start my aerations with the perforator that I just picked up. And uh, with the ramps in the back of the dump truck, it was just a little bit too steep where it was really hard with that perforator. It was uh, catching the ramps. It was just really tricky to be able to load and unload it into that dump trailer. Uh, I need something like this, more of a low trailer with the ramp so it has less of an angle. Uh, so this solves that problem as well, uh, which is kind of since I picked up that perforator, I've had it in the back of my mind saying that I cannot use the dump trailer for bringing the walker around for that for that part of the job so but yeah that's a nice simple setup if anybody uh is interested in setting something up like this i got everything arranged the way i want oh a lot there's a debate about what side you put your trimmer racks on uh because this is technically the street side or no this would be the lawn side 
if you pulled over on the side of the road it's on the lawn side you're not out in the road uh, I'm not sure maybe I maybe I've mounted it on the other side before and somebody was mentioning that it should be this side I don't know but I like it on this side and the reason I like it on this side is because I like my gas jugs on this side and the reason I like my jet my gas on this side is if the truck was hooked up to it and I pull up to a gas pump I could take the front pump and the back pump it lines up perfectly front truck I can gas up if I need to and then I have the gas nozzle here I can fill this can fill this can and fill the walker up all in one shot without having to move right on the right same side all my gas needs are on the same side uh, so I don't have to think about which side I'm on when I go up to to refuel so that's the reason I set it up in this way uh, your backpack blower you could technically put on that corner or you if you wanted or you know obviously you could put these racks wherever you wanted uh, but I particularly did not mount anything on the front here because in the past I have set up ramps. I've made a ramp that would go here that would allow you to back the walker into the back of your truck uh, to dump. I don't know if I'm going to do that with this yet, but um, it's a possibility. So I wanted to leave this front rail open. So if I was to cut this and modify it and put a ramp in here to go back into the truck, uh, which I, I may do, I'm not sure yet. Um, none of the tool racks are in the way, so that's why I did it that way. All right, that concludes this video, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.